Hi, and welcome back to Ask DRTK. Whenever you go to do anything on your computer that involves more than one application, it's always a matter of opening them up, resizing them, placing them on the screen. If you have multiple monitors, you're probably dragging them all over the place. But what if I told you you could use your Stream Deck to make all that happen with one button and make your workflow a lot easier? That's what we're gonna do today. Now we all know that the Stream Deck has a lot of built-in controls for various applications, lets us do things in OBS, our streaming platforms, we can control our Hue lights or our Gato lights, and a lot more. But of course, before we need any of that, we have to get the apps open. We need to organize them the way we want them. Maybe we have multiple screens, and that's always the hassle, especially if you're gonna go online, if you're gonna stream and you wanna have Discord open, maybe you need StreamYard open, your game open, maybe something else. Maybe you're streaming to multiple platforms and you want to monitor other chat. And so you open all of these up, you log in, you set them up, move them around to the different screens, and all of that takes time. And especially if you're streaming with the same setup regularly, why not just use one button? And so we need to do a couple things on the Stream Deck to make that happen, but let's take a look. Now, the great thing is that we really have almost everything we need built into the Stream Deck. We need to use a couple of the built-in systems, and then we need to download one plugin, and that's gonna be the Windows Mover and Resizer. So let's take a look at how to get that plugin installed. Okay, and so to install the Windows Mover and Resizer, we'll go into Plugins, and uh, simply in the search, just type in Windows, and you'll see the Windows Mover Resizer comes up, and you'll need to install it. You'll see I already have it installed, and I don't wanna uninstall it because I have quite a number of things set up on my Stream Deck with this already. Once you go ahead and install it, you'll see that at the bottom of the list in the Stream Deck, you now have the Windows Mover. So you just go ahead and open that up and you're going to see the Windows Mover. There's also a virtual desktop mover as well as a pin and unpin. And I'll get into those in future videos, but this is gonna be about Windows Mover. And so to make this happen, what we're gonna use is this Windows Mover. Then from our system, uh, we're gonna need the website function and the open function. And then from in the Stream Deck section, we're going to use the multi-action. And uh, once we set up a multi-action, you'll see other things come up, including delay. And sometimes you need to use a delay if you uh, want to apply a setting. So for example, if I was launching OBS with this and I then wanted to automatically switch scenes, I would go ahead and put a delay in between. And so that's just something you need to know about that. But uh, that's all we need to do in order to get things set up. We need the Stream Deck uh, section, which is built in. We need the System section, which is built in. And you need to install the Windows Mover. And now that we've got everything we need to make this happen, let's set up one button to do everything from launch to resize, relocate Windows, get everything completely ready, whether you want to stream or record or really any other productivity workflow. Okay, and now normally I would use separate screens for this, but I've just moved everything all onto one screen so that I can show you. And so what I have here is a game open. I've got Rise of the Triad, one of my uh, favorites from the past. And I also have uh, StreamYard uh, login here as well as Discord. And, uh, you know, it'd be nice to be able to get these to all pop up on whatever screens I want all at once. And so in Stream, uh, Stream Deck Control, I'll just pull it up here. I've created some individual buttons to launch StreamYard and Discord as well as Rot. But what we really want is one button that's going to open these and place them on the screen that we want in the size that we want. And so we're going to use three things here. We've already gone ahead and installed the Windows Mover, which we're going to need. But first, we're going to go ahead and actually create a multi-action. So I'll just pull multi-action onto a button here. And now we can begin the actions. And so the first thing I'm going to do is have it go ahead and open up StreamYard. And so in order for that to happen, StreamYard is a website. So pretty simple. I just need to actually go here into the system tab in the uh, in Stream Deck setup here, and I'm going to bring a website in. And the website, of course, this is going to be StreamYard. So I got StreamYard put in there. And then the URL is simply the URL we have here. And the easy thing, because I have it open, is I'm just going to go here and I'm going to copy it and we'll paste it into the uh, into the spot here. So that's the first thing. So I have that opening up. Now, great that it opens, but the issue is, depending on what I was using the browser for at another time, I'll end up with a situation where it's not in the right spot. 
So what I need to do is make sure it goes in the right spot. So all I'm gonna do for that is add in a Windows Mover after this. And the Windows Mover, I'm just going to call Relocate StreamYards. And then we need to fill in a few things here. And it's gonna be a specific application. And then I just have to go ahead and select it. Now I have Streamlabs open in Chrome. You would choose whichever browser you normally use here. And then we'll go a little further down and you'll see it's gonna show you a screen. And you can have it show a friendly name or otherwise. I have three displays on this graphics card. So you need to just uh, use the correct display that you're on. Now for me, this is display two, but I will tell you that this is a little bit buggy. Sometimes when you set this up as display two, it actually goes onto a different screen. So occasionally you just have to try one of however many displays you have until you find the right one. But the first thing is to have that. The next thing is to click get window co uh, coordinates here. So we'll just do that and it'll populate up some numbers. Now I have it set for no resize, which means I always want it to open this way, but I can have it set up to maximize, minimize or resize onto any again of the displays that I want. I can also have it become the topmost. Uh, so if I have multiple windows, it'll be the one that's active. That's, uh, that's really handy if the first thing we want to do is log into one or the other. And uh, so like normally I'd probably log into Discord first, so we'll leave that off. But um, there we go. So now when we uh, run this multi-action, it's going to open the website here to log into StreamYard and it's going to place the window here in this size. Then the next thing I would want to do is add in Discord. And so the thing with Discord is, I have again a button set up for that already, but Discord is in fact an app that I have here. So again, what I need to go is into system and just bring an open over. And once I have open, I'll just put a title here again, Discord. And then for the app. Now, normally you just click choose and you would look for where this is going to be. And uh, depending on your system, it may not be just sitting here in this program data, uh, Windows, uh, Microsoft, Start Menu, et cetera because uh, it may install it into a, a, an app roaming. So what, um, what I do generally for that is I just go into the start menu and I show the location of the file. And what I'll do is I'll just drag that over here. So that would bring this up. And you can see in fact that it's sitting in the roaming Microsoft Windows start menu folder. So that's the case. And in order to get this to be uh, what I need in terms of the app file here, all I typically do is, is take this and I'll right click on it and I'll choose properties. And I'll just move it off screen to do that because it just takes up too much space on the screen you can see. So I've chosen properties and I'll just right click on the target and I'll copy that and then I'll bring it over into the, um, the multi-action here. So now I have it in the multi-action and what that's going to do is it's going to open Discord. And then I need to do the same thing now in terms of getting it to open here because I always want it in this spot. So then what I'll do again is I'll add up a Windows Mover. So I bring that in and this one is gonna be called Relocate Discord. So now I have Relocate Discord. And again, it's a specific app. I'm just gonna go into the uh, list of apps here and I'm going to scroll until uh, I find Discord. And there it is, so I have Discord. Now, uh, again, the screen, uh, depending on whether you have one screen or more, it may not pop up on the right screen. So you may need to choose a different screen here, but uh, we'll leave it where it is for now. And then I'll show you how to fix it once uh, we get this running. Once again, I'm going to get the current window coordinates. I have them there. And uh, this here is the option again to, uh, you know, keep it the size that it is on screen, maximize, minimize, or resize. And again, normally in this situation, when I bring this up, I probably want to log into Discord first, so I'm actually going to make this the make this the topmost. And so I have that set as make topmost. And uh, so what I'll do is now I'll click here, and so now when I press the button, actually I would end up having a StreamYards open up to log in and Discord open up to log in. And I mean that could be it. I could start my game manually, but in this case I also want it to go ahead and open the game. I could have it open up uh, Steam if I wanted and go in directly to different games through that. But here I'm going to show you a specific uh, specific game because this is something I think a lot of people have trouble with when they're trying to get a specific game from uh, Steam to natively launch. And the thing about it is you would think about this brought here as an application, but in fact, Steam treats it as a URL to open. 
So what we need to do again is go in here and instead of using the open for an app, we're going to throw another website in here and this is going to be called rot. And then we need to put the URL in and to get the URL, we do the same thing. You need to find it in your start menu. And if it's not in the local, it'll be in the roaming start menu. And in this case, it's under steam. And the same thing, I would just simply go ahead here and I'll click properties and I'll get the location. So I'll just pull that out of the way again. Let me go ahead and do that properties. And I'm just going to copy and paste the URL from there. So I'll put it in here and there we go. Now I have the URL for the game sitting there and it's going to open it up. And the same thing applies. Now, if, if it launches, it's automatically going to launch wherever the game launches, which is usually the middle of the, of the screen. And so again, what we need to do here is go ahead and add a Windows mover in afterwards. And this one again is going to be relocate rot. Get that. All right. And the same thing applies now that I have it running here. And that's the important thing about setting up these movers, of course, is that we have to actually have the program, the window running so that it can see where it is and it can grab the size, the location, all those things. So uh, go down here, it's a specific app and I'm just gonna choose what I have. And in this case, the one that's uh, up here, I believe is Rot Launcher. So yeah, um, yeah, didn't quite get the right one there. Let's grab that again, uh, Rot Launcher. Okay, that's good. And uh, then we'll go ahead again, we, same issue with screens. It may or may not be the right screen for you. You might have to go back, but we'll take a look right away. Gonna get the current window location, everything's there. Again, in this case, I'm running it here uh, as a not resized here. I don't want full screen or anything at this point because I'm going to be logging into my Discord and my uh, StreamYards account in order to make this work. So we just leave that where it is. And, uh, and so now it's going to launch these three programs. So we'll launch StreamYard, size it, put it in the right place. We'll launch Discord, size it, put it in the right place. And we'll launch our game here. We'll launch Rot and then we'll size it and put it in the right place. And so that's all going to happen automatically with this button. So let me go ahead, I'll go back to here and I'm gonna actually close these three. So we'll get rid of them all together. And now I'm gonna go ahead and click that button on the Stream Deck. And you'll see a few things happen. I ended up getting Discord open and then it moved. I ended up getting Rise of the Triad open and then it moved. I ended up getting the StreamYard open and it moved out of the way. They're not in the right spot. They're on the wrong screen. So what I need to do is go in and try changing the screen here. Now it by default for the screen setup as display one. And so I'm gonna try display two in this case. And I'm actually gonna do that for all of them. We'll see what happens if I gets right. This is actually display two that uh, we're looking at here. So uh, hopefully, you know, you would think this would be where it is, but again, it's just a, a bug in this program that it doesn't necessarily uh, allow uh, allow you to, to just choose what it is and have it all work, unfortunately. I'll go ahead and I'll close those apps up on the other screen where they, uh, where they opened. And uh, now I'll just go ahead and try that button again. And yet again, they didn't open the right place. So I went ahead and I'll just uh, close those all again. And now uh, we'll go ahead back into multi-action and let's make another change here. We'll, we'll try calling it display number three, even though, uh, like I say, I'm not, not uh, it isn't display three as far as I'm concerned with my system, but for the purposes of the, uh, of the uh, plugin here, we'll go ahead and we'll set it up that way. So this is the one little idiosyncrasy with this uh, with this plugin. Otherwise, it's really fantastic and uh, and I find it really useful. So I'll go ahead back here and again I'll uh, press the button. And so are we getting closer here? Well, now I had it open up in the first place, then the second one opened, and the third one actually opened. Took a little bit of time, but all of them did in fact open up. So now when I press that button, I'm gonna get them all on the screen. So again, I'll close everything up here and I'll uh, also, I'll, uh, I'll just move Stream Deck out of the way and I'll press the button again. And so once you do that, it's gonna go ahead and bring these up on screen. And so I have my layout. Now, again, I'm showing you this on one screen just so that I can record it but I would normally have these on separate screens. I'd have the game on my main monitor and I'd have my Discord over on another screen 
and my uh, OBS and my StreamYard over on another screen yet. So, uh, but to give you an idea, that's what happens. So by setting up a multi-action, I was able to get everything to launch. So really all I need to do here is go ahead and log into my account, start the game, I'm ready to stream. And it just saves time in terms of, of launching each program manually and moving them over and resizing them. So I really like this. I haven't given this one a title, but this one is going to be, uh, you know, I'll just make it stream brought. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I can create, I can create many of these for every game that I stream if I like, or again, I can set it up so that it launches Steam and I go from there. Uh, a lot of flexibility, but the nice thing is just one button that goes there. I'll show you, uh, I'll show you one other thing here that's really nice with this is that uh, I also use Philips Hue in my studio. And so if I want to go ahead and have it throw the scene on, I can do that as well. And uh, all I would need to do is choose the group and the scene, and I can have it go ahead and turn my studio lighting on uh, that's all controlled with uh, Philips Hue plugs and otherwise. So really, really uh, great in terms of one button, sit down, get streaming, works really well. And of course, this isn't only for streaming, so I'll go ahead and push my recording button, and you'll see I have this one up, launches up Focusrite Control and Studio One. So Again, a lot of flexibility. You can really automate any setups depending on whatever you use your system for. And so whether I'm going to record and mix using my DAW, I'm going on a live stream, hanging out on Discord, getting any other productivity done, checking all the social media, I have one button set up for each of these so that I can configure everything. And it saves me a lot of time, and I hope it'll save you a lot of time as well. And if you're interested in audio, video, recording, streaming, gear and tutorials, Check out one of the videos on the screen. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.